Joseph Augustus Sorelli will no longer be that boy in the box and will no longer be unknown. 65 years without a name in an unmarked grave until now. The boy in the box is finally identified. Four-year-old Joseph Augustus Zarelli. This was the most challenging case of my whole career. One big mystery solved, but many more still left to be answered. This announcement only closes one chapter in this little boy's story while opening up a new one. And this is Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Police say they are still investigating the murder of Joseph Augustus Zarelli, and they need the public's help. Investigators never gave up hope that DNA would help identify him. Detectives today revealed four-year-old Joseph lived in West Philadelphia. The breakthrough in the case was forensic genetic genealogy combined with advances in DNA. Investigators were able to track down potential relatives. Chief investigative reporter Joe Holden was there as the boy's name was announced. Joe, good evening. Yuki, good evening to you. And Joseph Sorelli was only alive for four short years back in the 1950s. And this neighborhood was his home. Investigators looking to not only give him that name, but give more closure, find justice, and find out what happened. For 65 years, he's been known only by the circumstances of his death. The boy in the box. The coldness of those circumstances, much like the wintry conditions he was left in along a rural Fox Chase roadside. And nearly 15 miles away, a little boy once named Joseph Augustus Zarelli had a home. Up until a few weeks after his fourth birthday, Joseph Zarelli was growing up near 61st and Market in West Philadelphia. The four year old boy died from blunt force trauma. His body beaten and covered in bruises. He also had scars from what was believed to be an IV line. We have our suspicions as to who may be responsible, but it would be irresponsible of me to share these suspicions as this remains an active and ongoing criminal investigation. Investigators say Joseph Sorelli was never reported missing. Detectives for decades worked backwards using a combination of DNA sampling and forensic genetic genealogy. Distant family members were identified, and Joseph Sorelli became the missing link in a family puzzle. So what you do is you sort of network them together in a self-consistent way, like a big Sudoku puzzle. And once you get it, that all the diagonals, all the straight lines, the vertical, horizontal, are all consistent with each other, the piece you're missing is the person you're looking for. Emotions ran high as Commissioner Danielle Atlaw was first to speak his name. Joseph Augustus Zarelli. The identity now pushes the investigation closer to a possible resolution, as distant as a conclusion may seem. This announcement only closes one chapter in this little boy's story while opening up a new one. This is still an active homicide investigation, and we still need the public's help in filling in this child's life story. Now, police will not comment on any possible charges for any possible actors involved. As for tips, the public is being asked to now act on what they are seeing, remembering that name that we've just learned today, and to call Philadelphia police if there is any information you can provide. And for the first time, we can say we are live in the neighborhood from where Joseph Sorelli grew up only four years old. This is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And Joe, thank you. And the